What I love also about this project, but the overwhelming theme was love. Love of yourself. Love, loving love enough to welcome love into your life over and over again, even though you've been disappointed, even though you've had failed relationships, even though you are yearning for like, for somebody to see you, see you for you and for it to work. That was a beautiful part of the project because so many people are scared of love. Like they're scared to love because they're scared of getting hurt. And she constantly got hurt again and again and again and still was a champion of love and still was like, nope, I'm not giving up. I'm going to find my happy. I'm going to keep going. I don't care if I've been engaged X amount of times. I don't care if I've had this failed marriage. I'm going to start over. And a lot of women in particular choose not to start over because, oh, well, what would they think? Or I'm just tired. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> They're like, eh, I'll just be by myself. So I thought that was beautiful and a message that needed to get out to the world because we all need like more love in this space. What I also appreciated about the project is that she put so many people of color and Latinos on with this project to her dancers, who was behind the camera, her assistants, her bringing in Fat Joe as her therapist. And that's why I love when Latinos believe in themselves to that capacity and don't take no for an answer because it allows us to put on others in our community and just push the community forward. What do you think about that? I think that as Latinos, you know, we are beginning to become the majority. So it's important that we rally behind each other and stay strong so that, you know, like we're not beating each other down. And I think that her elevating and keeping Fat Joe in her life consistently for how long has her career been? 25, 30 years? Mm -hmm. you, know, she, you know, as a teenager, I watched Selena, you know, and then I started seeing music videos with J-Lo and I always was like, oh my gosh, she's so cool. Like, I want to be like her, you know? And it's so crazy because I always looked at her like this woman and like, She's really only like 10 years or 15 years older than me. And I always idolized her, but she always stayed consecutive with keeping her people on board. You know, like, yeah, she did have to leave the Bronx, but who wouldn't when you who you are in Hollywood? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I hate that so many people like try to bring her down for that. But like, why do I look like still living in Brooklyn if I got 50, 500 million dollars in the bank? Right. And I feel like Joe and her and even like her having remixes with Bad Bunny and even people of color, the LL Cool J's, the Ja Rules, she's just bringing everybody with her. And I feel like people need to just put some respect on her name at this point. Period. Put some respect on this woman's name. Like they really try and come for her at every single angle. And I remember I don't, she was like being interviewed. She was at some conference and she was talking about how they tried to put her in a box so bad. Like, you're just a dancer. Like, stick to dancing. <laughs> don't try to sing. Don't try to act. Like, stick to your lane and that's your lane. That's it. And she spoke about how her choosing not to stick to what everyone perceived as her lane has allowed her to have this, like, luxurious life and create and be the architect of like her own journey versus always just being known as one thing. And I find that sometimes I'm under pressure to be in a box, to like fit in into a particular mold and just do it that way and become known for just that thing. And so we need examples like JLo to aspire to, to be our role model, to show us like there is another way outside of whatever society is trying to drill to you is the only way, you know? Yeah. But that that also talks about like a, a character, right? So like you could think about it. Do you want to be great at one thing or good at many things? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I feel like that's what she's doing. She might not be the best actress. No, she's not. She may not be the best singer. No, she's not. But 
She is good at it. She's a good singer, enough that she's made all these millions of dollars. She's a good actress that she has number one movies in the box office. So what's wrong with that? I love that. I love that. That's that's like another key takeaway. Like, really think about, do you want to be excellent at one thing or do you want to be good at many things? But it's so interesting because, like, if you go apply for a job or if you're, like, speaking to someone, many people will try to tell you that you need to be a specialist. Like you need to be a specialist at this one thing. And that's how you're going to make X amount of dollars, etc. And here you have a prime example of someone who is not, she's a specialist in certain things. Like her work ethic, she's a specialist. And her wardrobe. Oh, <laughs> we can't forget about, about that. Talk about it. Okay. She is a specialist in certain areas for sure. But she's also very good in other areas. Like you don't need to be excellent in every single thing in order to live a fruitful life and also be successful. Yeah. Word. Word. Word.